Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. And in this uh, video, I'm going to be going through a question from an IGCSE book, um, which is the David Rayner Oxford Complete Mathematics for Cambridge IGCSE Extended Version. And this is from Chapter 8, which is um, the thing we're concerned about from this chapter is vectors. And this is exercise 10. I've been asked to do to answer a number of questions from this exercise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to answer one of them because most of the questions follow the same kind of pattern. So if the student who requested the question then understands how to tackle the rest of the questions after watching this video, hopefully, then um, you know that should suffice. If not, then I will go through other questions. So the first, the question I'm going to answer is question number six. Um, and we're told here that AC is parallel to OB. AC is parallel to OB. AX equals a quarter AB. A to X is one quarter of the whole thing. So you could say that this is one part and this is uh, three parts. So AX is one quarter of AB. O to A is A, which is marked. O to B is B, which is marked. And A to C is M times B, which is also marked. And we can note that AC is parallel to OB and AC is equal to some multiple of OB. So when two vectors are parallel, then they can be expressed as multiples of each other, as we can see here. And that's a key, actually, to answer some of the questions in this particular um, question and questions like it. Now, question part A. Now, the, the student asked me to answer part D. But in these vector questions, you really need to have the answers for the previous parts in order to answer the latter part. So I'm going to go through each part and then answer part D. So it says express A to B in terms of a and b so a to b is a vector from a there to b so in terms of a and b we can say we've got to go from a to o and then from o to b so the vector from a to b should be a little arrow there a to b is equal to a to o and then o to b so you start at a and you end at b a to o o to b and we can see it's you're going, then, you're going parallel to the vector A, but in the opposite direction and the same length, so it's negative A. And then O to B is exactly the same as B, the same direction, parallel, so minus A plus B. So you could, if you want to, express it as B minus A. That's perfectly fine. Both of those ways are ex fine of expressing that question, the answer. Okay, then it says find the vector from A to X. Let me just put this a bit closer. It says find the vector from A to x okay a to x now we can see a to x is parallel to a to b it's parallel to a to b but it's not quite the same length as a to b in fact we know a to x is a quarter a to b as it's mentioned in the question in the beginning so we can just straight away say a to x is a quarter of a to b and we just found a to b so it's basically a quarter of our answer so it's a quarter times b minus a which is a quarter b minus a quarter a now you could express it in both of these ways perfectly fine express it factorized or expanded both of them are perfectly fine so that's the answer to part b now for part c just uh put this a bit closer okay for part c we're told to express b to c in terms of a b and m now b to c okay we can just quite easily express it it's like going from b to a and then from A to C. Now B to A, as we can see, is minus B plus A. So it's like B to A, I'll just write this out, B to A plus A to C. So we know that B to A is minus B plus A, and A to C is MB. Okay, so that's B to A minus B plus A plus MB, that gets, gets us from B to C, which is what's required. Now, I can leave my answer like this, or I could actually write it as A plus MB minus B. And I can also, if I want to, so this is fine. This is fine. I could also write it with the B term um, factorized out. So this is like M minus 1 times B. So it's A plus something B. You can write it. Both of All of these three per, are perfectly fine for you to write the answer. Um, if you leave it in the first way, it's fine. Now, um, one of the reasons I've written it like this in this, this last form is because we all need that form in the, last, in the last part of the question. So I thought maybe 
it's good to write it now at that point. So now we're going to do part D. Now part D says, given that O to X is parallel to B to C. So O to X is parallel to B to C. Okay, so if two vectors are parallel, as we mentioned, then they can be expressed as multiples of each other. We've got to then find the value of M. Okay, so let's express O to X um, as some constant times B to C. So we know that O to X is equal to some constant. Let's call it, for example, K times B to C. Okay, O to X is some constant times B to C. When two vectors are parallel, you can express them in that way. So now I need to find um, the value of M. So let's first of all now express O to X in terms of our vectors that we know. So O to X is like O to A plus A to X. So it's like O to A plus A to X. And we know what A to X is from an earlier part of the question. O to A is A. And A to X, we already found it as a quarter B minus a quarter A. That's a quarter B minus a quarter A. Okay, let me just uh, move this up here so we can see what's going on. Okay, so now uh, that will give us A, well, sorry, three quarters A plus a quarter B. A minus a quarter A is three quarters A plus a quarter B. So that's the vector from O to X. And B to C, as we know from the last question, B to C, we just worked out, is A plus M minus 1 times B. Okay. So now I can say O to X is equal to some constant times B to C. So I can say O to X is equal to some constant times um, B to C. Okay, so O to X we've worked out as 3 quarters A. 3 quarters A plus a quarter B. And I've got K times the vector B to C, which we've worked out is A plus M minus 1 times B. So I can say that's KA plus K times M minus 1 times B. I've just multiplied this, you know, this by K, K times B to C. Now, this is the key to answering this type of question. We need to basically find the value of M. Okay, now what I can do here is I, can, I know that these two vectors are the same as each other. Okay, O to X is equal to some multiple of B to C. Okay, so we can uh, try to now work out the value of M by comparing the A's and the B's, the A components and the B components of these two vectors. So this is three quarters A. Now the, 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 the A component of these two vectors must be the same, so must be the, the B components because they're, th they're equal to each other. So 3 quarters A must be the same as KA. So that means 3 quarters must be equal to K. And if we compare the Bs, you've got a quarter B on this side. That must be equal to K times M minus 1. All right, so now we know what K is from that first part. So we can say that well, quarter is equal to 3 quarters times M minus 1. I can multiply both sides by 4, so I'll have here 1 equals 3 times m minus 1. So 1 is equal to 3m minus 3. If I add 3 to both sides, I end up with 4 equals 3m, and therefore I have 4 over 3 equals m. So m is equal to 4 over 3, and there we have the answer to the last part of that question, part D. That was what the student was asking about. And that's how you deal with such questions. So we know that when two parallel vectors are parallel, they can be expressed as multiples of each other. And we can find OX in terms of A and B. And we can find BC in terms of A, B, and M, which we already found. And then we can equate those two vectors. And we can then compare the coefficients of the A parts of the vectors and compare the coefficients of the B parts of the vectors and then solve the uh, you know, equation that is formed after that. So that's the answer to this question. Hopefully the other questions that were asked from the same chapter can be understood now um, from this example. Um, if there's any problem, the student can let me know and we can, I can answer some more when I get time. Thank you for watching. Uh, before I uh, close the video, there's some uh, the, uh, um, playlist is going to appear over here. In this playlist, there will be questions that I answer from this particular textbook. 
Okay, I'll probably make it the playlist according to chapter. Okay, so that will appear on this um, section over here. Underneath it, you're going to have questions about vectors in general from IGCSE. Um, on the top of the page, uh, I'll probably link you to another, um, to a past paper maybe for um, IGC, IGCSE past paper. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and um, see you soon.